Hi students, this is Kumar, your Max teacher, grade 7. So the next concept is simple interest. SI, simple interest is equal to P into R into T divided by 100. So here P means principal, R means rate of interest, then T means number of years. To find the simple interest is equal to P into R into T divided by 100. Now let us see the few examples. So the first example is find the simple interest, find the simple interest and the amount for rupees 750.50 for 3 years at 8% per annum. 8% per annum. Find the simple interest and amount for rupees 750.50 for 3 years at 8% per annum. So given principal P is equal to rupees 750.50. So number of years T is 3 years. Then rate of interest R is 8% per annum. So to find the simple interest formula P into R into T divided by 100. So P is 750.50 into 8 into 3 whole divided by 100. So after multiplication 750.50 into 8 into 3 we get 18,012 divided by 100. So simple interest is equal to rupees 180.12. So this is for simple interest. So the question is find the simple interest and the amount. So amount is equal to principal plus simple interest. So principal is rupees 750.50. Then simple interest is 180.12. So after adding we get 930.62. So amount at the end of 3 years is equal to rupees 930.62. The second question is in how many years will rupees 900 yield an interest of rupees 324 at 12% per annum simple interest. In how many years will rupees 900 yield an interest of rupees 324 at 12% per annum simple interest. So here given, principle is given, is a 900. So rate of interest is 12% per annum. So the simple interest is 324. So to find the number of years, so to find the T. So simple interest is equal to P into R into T divided by 100. So simple interest is equal to 324 is equal to P is 900 into 12 into T divided by 100. So we have to find the value of T. So is 900 into 12 whole divided by 100. So transposing that side 324 into 100 divided by 900 into 12. So after simplification we get T is equal to 3. So therefore T is equal to 3 years. So the third one is at what rate of simple interest will rupees 350 amount to rupees 455 in 6 years? At what rate of simple interest will rupees 350 amount to rupees 455 in 6 years? So here we have to find the rate of interest to find the R. So given principle 350 is given then amount is for rupees 455 is given t is 6 years so simple interest is equal to amount minus principal simple interest is equal to amount minus principal so amount is 455 minus principal is 315 so simple interest is equal to rupees 105 so simple interest formula p into r into t divided by 100 so simple interest is 105 is equal to p is 350 into R. We have to find the rate of interest into R into time is number of years is 6 divided by 100. So we have to find the value of R. So remaining value is transposing that side. So 105 into 100 divided by 350 into 6. So after simplification we get R is equal to 5% per annum. R is equal to 5% per annum. So the fourth question is, on a certain sum the interest paid after 3 years is rupees 
450 at 5 percent rate of interest per annum find the sum on a certain sum the interest paid after three years is 450 at 5 percent rate of interest per annum find the sum so given rate of interest is given 5 percent per annum so t is three years given then interest is 450 so to find the principal to find the principal so simple interest is equal to p into r into t divided by 100 so simple interest is equal to 450 is equal to p into r r is 5 into time is 3 years whole divided by 100 we have to find the value of principal so p is equal to 450 into 100 whole divided by 5 into 3 now 1 5 is 5 9 5 is 45 0 is 90 1 3 is 3 3 3 is 9 0 so 30 so 30 into 100 is equal to rupees 3000 so therefore the required sum is rupees 3000 required sum is rupees 3000